aliens, fallen angels, UFOs, what are they really? Uh, that is the title of this video that I want to make. Uh, I, I've been wanting to make this video, but I've been kind of hesitant uh, because of the content of it. Uh, a lot of people think this is conspiracy stuff, and um, me actually putting this on YouTube, uh, hopefully I don't get in trouble for putting this up, or somebody dislike me, but... Uh, anyways, I want to get the truth out there. I, what I'm about to tell you, uh, I really believe in. And I, I hope that when you watch it and listen to this video that, that you will gain knowledge on this uh, of the truth. And that the truth will set you free. Amen? So, uh, having said that, um, I wanted to read... Genesis 6, 1 through 4. And it says here, uh, And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in, to, came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them. The same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. Now that, that, that last verse, chapter, uh, verse 4 in chapter 6 of Genesis, uh, said here, When the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. That's really key to what I'm about to set, uh, talk about here. Um, now, what, what I believe here, I need to tell you some stuff before I get to that verse. Um, before the world came into existence, before God uh, spoke the universe and, and, and created the earth and the universe and the solar system and, and the galaxies and, and he spoke that into existence uh, Lucifer and his angels were with him with God in heaven witnessing all this stuff and uh, it's my thoughts on this is this um, Those, those giants that are mentioned in Genesis 6 and the sons of God are actually fallen angels that God cast down to earth uh, after, after Lucifer decided that he wanted to become God and be like God. Now, my reasoning here is that um, Lucifer and his angels were in heaven and witnessed uh, God creating the universe and creating man and and they saw this and you, you know like you go to you go to school or something and you you hear a teacher and a teacher is teaching you something you gain the knowledge of that right hopefully you gain the knowledge of what's being taught to you but uh, um so here's satan and or lucifer and his angels in heaven witnessing God creating space, creating time, and creating people. Okay? So they they gained the knowledge. Now, granted, Lucifer and his angels are limited. Only God can create. No one else, no one, no one else can create. Uh, but Lucifer and his angels gained that knowledge 
of how God created the universe. Now God, God is the smartest being in the whole universe. And Lucifer gained a lot of that knowledge. Okay? So he, Lucifer and his angels were like, you know what? We want to do the same thing. And we want to be God. We want to, we want to create. And, and God wouldn't have it. So what did God do? He cast them out of heaven to earth. Right? That's what most people believe, that Satan was cast out. Even Jesus said, I, uh, I saw Satan cast out of heaven and fall like lightning. <laughs> so, here, so Satan, <laughs> Lucifer, and his angels are here on earth. Okay, this is before the flood. Okay, so I, I think God cast him down to earth, and so what happens? Um, <clears throat> Satan begins to beguile and 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 try to corrupt what God has made because he wants to be God, and he got cast down. So now he's mad and angry and he wants to get in control so what happens he comes down to comes down to the garden becomes a snake and in uh, Genesis 3 serpent starts start, start the serpent which I believe is Lucifer talking to Eve and Adam's right there next to Eve and it starts beguiling Eve and, and they eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, right? Amen? And so, because of that, God says this, okay? God's like, where are you, Adam? And so, where are you? And they come out and, you know, they say, well, Adam blames Eve, Eve blames the serpent, and then God says this. In, in <coughs> God says this to the serpent, uh, beginning in verse 4, uh, chapter 3 of Genesis, which says, And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon, the, upon your belly shall you go, and dust shall you eat all the days of your life and this is the key verse and I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed and it shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel now that's a that's a prophetic word from God talking about Jesus Christ coming into the world uh, to to eradicate sin so, God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to the earth uh, to wipe away sin, amen, so that we can be free indeed, so we can be free from sin and go to heaven and be with Him, amen? So, Satan hears this, and this is the word of Satan, saying, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send my Son, and He's going to... He's gonna, Chop your head off, basically. And, uh, so, sorry. Uh, so Satan, hearing this from God, which Satan was with God in heaven when he created all this stuff, and had, and the key thing, he had all the knowledge of this. He had the knowledge of how God created the universe and how he created man, okay? He had this knowledge. Like today we have knowledge of genetics and how space and we have spaceships that go into space and we know how to get there. We have that knowledge to do that. Now that's pretty key. So listen here. Um, so uh, Satan having this knowledge, he, he begins to corrupt the seed of man. Because he doesn't want that son, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, to come. He wants to be in control of the, of, of the world and the universe which God made. And, and he said, I'm going to be like God. And that's his 
That's his vision. He wants to be God. Uh, so he can create, but he won't be able to ever create because God never gave him that, that ability to create. So what does he do? He sends his giants, okay, the fallen ones, the fallen angels. And this is where the fallen angels, it says in verse 4 that they came into the daughters of men and, and they bear children unto them, right? So here's fallen angels. Uh, procreating with daughters of man and their giants and their men of renown, mighty men, okay? Well, I actually believe that those are hybrids. And that, uh, see, that the, that's genetics. Satan was trying to, to, to corrupt the genetics so that there was no, uh, no no line for Jesus to come into the world so that Satan could be the ruler. So that's his first attempt to try to dis uh, keep God from being God over earth, right? So you have these men of now, which I believe are hybrids, okay? So they have all these things, these fallen angels, these hybrids, they all have that knowledge. They have the knowledge that God uh, gave them in heaven uh, to to use, and so Satan and and I know this is going to sound crazy, but he had that knowledge at that moment, and I believe he had knowledge how to corrupt space. See, he knew the genetics; he had the knowledge of the genetics. God created man, and he he saw the genetics of it, the genetics of man, and so he wanted to corrupt all that. So. What I believe is that these, these fallen ones that had children, and the children um, have a name which are believed to be the Anunnaki. See, you have the Nephilim and the Anunnaki. The Nef it's actually Nephil with uh, giants. Nephil. Uh, fallen ones. That's what they're, they're fallen ones. Fallen from heaven, so they get the, the they they actually, I believe there wasn't very many people on the earth at that time, so they could go away and get all the materials that they needed to to create well to make to make UFOs. I really believe this. I believe they had the knowledge and the ability. Mighty men, men of renown. Uh, to make a UFO so that they could go away, okay? So uh, they had the knowledge to create that, to make those. I don't to create it, and not 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 what God, not the creation that God has, but um, their own creative thinking, their knowledge, which puffs up, which makes them big. You know, knowledge puffs things up, but love edifies or something like that. It says that in the Bible. But, uh, so they create, the, they, they make these UFOs before the flood. Okay? And it, it, if you go on to uh, read in Genesis 6, um, it says, it, it, re it repented God that he made man. So he sent a flood. Well, how long did it take Noah? It took Noah probably a hundred years to build the, the to build the the ark. So here's these men of renown. These all, you know, um, mighty men. They're they're making UFOs at this time because they see Noah. Noah hasn't um, mixed his blood with this stuff. And that's why God chose him to to extend man's life. It, there was only eight of them, right? So um, you had Noah and his sons and their wives, and there was uh, four women and four four women and four men. Okay, so that's eight eight people. And so they make this uh, 
they make this ark, Noah's ark, right? And they put all the animals on there. Well, these men of renown made these UFOs before the flood, and when the flood came, they took off from earth. Now, it says in the Bible that God wiped everything off the face of the earth. It didn't say the heavens. So, that brings me to a guy whose name is Bob Marzulli. No, not Bob Lazar. Sorry. It's L.A. Marzulli, who I'll mention later. But Bob Lazar... Um, I was I was sent a video by someone uh, that I watched, and it it had this guy Bob Lazar uh, who was recruited. And this is kind of interesting. He was recruited uh, to to you know what I just thought in my head is this actually recording? And I looked, and it is. So sorry, I just. I forgot that I had started recording in the midst of the recording, so I just want to make sure it's still recording. Sorry to stop and get off on a tangent here. But uh, uh, to get back, Bob Lazar, okay, <clears throat> Bob Lazar was recruited by Area 51 to come in and to look at these spacecraft, that these captured alien spacecraft. Uh, uh, to back re-engineer these things so that the government could have these UFOs learn the technology of this. This is this is still uh, the technology that that the the ancient aliens, you know, the the show ancient aliens uh, have, uh, but they're not aliens. They're actually fallen angels that had hybrids. See, they were trying to do the genetics, and I'm going to get onto that in a little bit after I talk about Bob Lazar. But Bob Lazar was in uh, Area 51. He worked in there, and he, he's actually a whistleblower, and, and you can find videos on the internet uh, that talk about Bob Lazar back engineering these UFOs. And he, he goes into detail how these things actually look. And uh, he said these are... Bob Lazar, in the video that I saw, uh, talked about how these, it, you know, when when we have the, the 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 shuttle, you know, the rockets that send the space shuttle into space and stuff, we have the shuttle, and we go into space, or like like the lunar module that went to the moon, right? Well, we take we have the technology to go from here to the moon. That's linear time. We we leave Earth and we go along, and then we get to the moon. And it it takes a long time to get to the moon from the Earth. So we leave Earth to get to the moon. Well, these spacecraft are not spacecraft. That they're time-dimensional machines, I believe. And uh, this Bob Lazar was talking about, you know, you can't go billions of light years, okay, uh, instantaneously unless, and I'm going to get into this, um, he said that these spacecraft, spacecraft, interdimensional space Craft, I call them. Um, what they do, and now here's the knowledge again. Satan saw God create the universe, spoke it into existence, and he saw that and gained the knowledge of how God created that. And Satan, being a master deceiver and manipulator, uh, created these machines on earth before the flood and uses this to his advantage so um, what but we all know that God's gonna win in the end anyways he, he can only manipulate he can't create so he's he's not a creator he's a he's a deceiver and a deceptor and a, and a murderer and a liar and a thief 
uh, Jesus said, uh, Satan comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. So, and that's what his purpose is. He wants to destroy all this so that he could be God. So these, these spacecraft, these interdimensional spacecraft that Bob Lazar was looking at to re back re-engineer, he said that what they do, they have these three things underneath the spacecraft that are in like this vacuum or something. I, I, I can't describe it, but just uh, Google or Bing or Yahoo, uh, Bob Lazar back engineering, I'm sure you'll find this video. But he just he he goes down into detail how these how these interdimensional spacecraft work. What they do is uh, what it does is causes space. Okay, like here's Earth and here's the Moon. Well, what these spacecraft can do is bend space to where Earth and the Moon can be right next to each other. And it just it goes through, and you're instantly at. That's what these can do. It can, and that's the knowledge that Satan got. He can bend. He can manipulate time to make it where he can be here and billions of light years away, instantaneously. So there you have it. So that's that's what they did before the flood. When the flood came, poof, they went into space. I don't know where they went. If they went to another planet where life is possible, I don't know. But I think that after the flood, after man came back on, and this is where Ancient Aliens comes in, the, the show Ancient Aliens, uh, that they see the evidence of this. So... That's, that's how they came back. They came back after the flood and started to manipulate man again because that's, that's Lucifer's purpose, to steal, to kill, and destroy, right? And become God. And so that's how they've been, how they've influenced uh, man since, since the beginning of, of man and time, um, since the garden. The Garden of Eden. And so, um, they come back and they start, t you, you see like in Egypt, you, you see these pictures uh, <coughs> that the show, Ancient Aliens, shows all this, that they, you know, they have uh, a, a man with a bird's head, okay? They want to mess with the genetics of man because it, they can't they can't procreate themselves anymore they have to they have to take from us to survive so that brings us to these abductions okay alien abductions um the the abductions what happens is people and i've seen videos of this where a man was uh, interviewing hundreds of hundreds of abductees and uh, a lot of them that he uh, interviewed and asked about and uh, I don't know what video it is but uh, you could probably go to YouTube and do alien abductions interviews and find a lot of this but uh, in one of the videos that I saw he was uh, he had uh, interviewed hundreds of people that have been abducted and he says there's thousands of people that have been abducted, and and they're, they're, they have all the same exper experiences. They get up and they have these little gray men, and they're doing their junk. They're 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 trying to corrupt these people. But he said a lot of them said that when they were being abducted, they called on Jesus, and as soon as they these people called on Jesus, the abduction ended. Just like that, it quit, and so that that shows that if you're being abducted, you ha you have the authority by God to uh, to get to to get rid of these in the name of Jesus. Call on Jesus Christ Himself, 
and He will save you. Amen? He will save you out of that. And so this guy interviewed all these people, and he was trying to tell people, when you, if you ever get abducted, to call on Jesus. And they were like, no, I'm not going to do that. So, I don't... He, you know, if I was being abducted, I'd try anything, you know. <laughs> if, if someone told me, call on Buddha, and I didn't believe in Jesus, I'd call on Buddha, and maybe, you know. But um, but I believe in Jesus, so I'm going to call on the name of Jesus, and I know He exists, and He's real, and He has authority over these things. In fact, uh, I know somebody that told me one time that they had a dream, um, where they saw a UFO, and in the dream, the guy uh, rebuked it in Jesus' name, and it left. And when it left, uh, this pentagram came back, and he saw a pentagram uh, in this dream. It was like God was saying, "This is Satan." And you know, there's any time alien abductions, they always talk about what fear there is. The, the fear is so tremendous, okay? And God doesn't give you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen? So you can rebuke Him in Jesus' name. But uh, where was I at? So they manipulate the genetics. And you see these pictures of like these ancient civilizations where they're, they mix... Uh, birds heads with with um, man's body and you have all these weird stuff well that's they had the genetics to do that and you can I've seen really weird stuff uh, looking at stuff with genetics which brings me to this point someone that I know had a book that was given to them or to whoever the person was given to that person and it was a book with all these um, classified documents that have been leaked. And uh, I was looking through it, and I saw a picture of one of these, what you call, uh, grays, okay? Gray aliens. And I could sense the spirit of fear on this picture. Well, I don't have the spirit of fear, but I could sense it. Uh, it wasn't scaring me. But I could sense that there was a spirit of fear. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to look at this picture and really analyze it and look at this gray and see, really look at it and see what's going on here. And I was looking at it. It had no hair, no facial or hair like I have. You know, I have a goatee and I have hair and, you know, I have skin. Well, this thing was totally naked, uh, no hair. And big eyes, right? We all know what they look like. Well, I started thinking about that. Why? Why? Why doesn't it have hair? And why does it have big eyes? Okay? I started asking that. And, you know, our hair is to protect our head from the sun. The sun, and that's key. That's light, right? You never hear about these alien abductions going on in the middle of the day. You might. There might be. I don't know. But it's usually at night, right? It's never... Most of the time, it's never during the day. It's only at night. And so, um, this, this alien gray has no hair to protect its head from the sun. So that, that says that it... it and the big eyes, big eyes, if you're going to have big eyes, that means you have to bring in more light to see. So I determined by just looking at that, that wherever this thing came from was in a dark place, right? And I was like, that's kind of interesting. Why, why doesn't it have hair? And I started researching some stuff. And, uh... Uh, someone was telling me that's interesting you say that because and and they were saying you know what you need a fr friend of mine was telling you need to google Dulce New Mexico D-U-L-C-E New Mexico okay and see what comes up so I did and man I, I found 
there was a there's a place in that supposedly there is and I believe this there is an underground military base and uh, they do genetic experiments in that underground underground uh, which is where there's no light it's dark right these aliens are from a dark place okay where there's no light where there's light light exposes darkness amen that's what it says in the Bible um, but uh, uh, so these aliens genetic beings hybrids that left came back okay they haven't died you know but they're they're chained up in darkness that's what the Bible says there's a God has reserved them in chains of darkness until the judgment day right well darkness they make these genetic beings underground this is all satanic crap forgive my language but uh they make these things underground okay well when I saw this uh, I started looking to see how you know how they this is this is what my theory is I really believe that God created these beings they have the knowledge and they came back and they're trying to do all this when I'm speaking here so I was like I wonder if there's anyone else out there that has something similar and I started googling different stuff and my sister I don't, well, I don't know if I should have said that yeah well anyways um, told me about this guy named L.A. Marzulli to look him up so I, I, I looked up this guy L.A. Marzulli I have two sisters so you don't know which one so thank you Jesus um, I looked up this guy L.A. Marzulli and he believed the same thing that I believe which is interesting I didn't hear about if you go look up he's got a he's got a book or a video and it's called the alien deception I, I think it's called the alien deception but if you go L dot A dot Marzulli M-A-R-Z-U-L-L-I and Google that you'll find a bunch of stuff about what I just talked about and he he believes just about the same thing that I believe uh, here so um, that's that's what I believe that there are no aliens from other planets but they're actually beings from heaven that were cast down to earth and created these UFOs and left the earth uh, and waited till this flood was over and came back and continued to to deceive and to corrupt now um, it's you can also uh, Google alien gospel okay and and it talks about pretty much everything that I just talked about here um, but uh, this guy L.A. Marzulli he has a bunch of videos on it and you can listen to him and he gets on different radio station radio stations and talks about this um, but uh, I wanted to put this out here so that people can know what I've I'm talking about and um, I hope it helps you you know especially if, if you've been abducted I would if you're being abducted and I know there's people watching this and they're probably laughing but it's not really a laughing matter you know these people are getting getting tortured in these interdimensional places and it's not funny call on the name of Jesus every knee shall every knee and every 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 tongue and every knee shall bow at the name of Jesus right so every tongue shall confess and every knee shall bow something like that but um, 
Jesus came to save you from everything. And His name is above all names. And at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen? That's what I wanted to say. So, call on the name of Jesus and He will save you. Amen? So, look this stuff up. Research it. Um, one of the things that L.A. Marzulli said is that, and I find this kind of interesting, um, the UN, the United Nations, the one world government entity, which they don't want to say that, um, one, once, uh, just this last year I think it was, uh, appointed a man <laughs> that said, if there's aliens out there, we need these aliens to come to this man and he'll be the representative of the earth. Ooh, wonderful, the world, he will represent the world to these aliens. Well, that's a bunch of crap. Sorry. <laughs> and, and the alien gospel, see, they're going to say, we're your creators. That's the deception. They're going to come down and they're going to reveal themselves and say, you're our creation. We created you. And, and we're, we're your gods. And that's kind of interesting because I'm wondering about this, but after the flood... Uh, people were all gathered together in one place, right? And they decided, let's build a tower to reach God. I don't think that that was God himself. I think they were thinking, we need to reach the gods, the gods that, the, the mythological gods, like the Greek and all those gods, which were the men of renown. Because they knew they left. And they were like, we need to call them back. <laughs> wow. Isn't that kind of interesting? I, that just kind of hit me here. That they were trying to build a tower to get to uh, the gods that quote, quote, created them. Isn't that interesting? And so they built this tower, the Tower of Babel. And God didn't like it. So he said, you know what? I'm going to confuse their languages. Their language. And that I believe that's where all the, language of the languages of the earth originated from that time. The, the Tower of Babel. Babel, 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 Babel. Amen. So <laughs> uh, they, they were trying to get to those, those ancient aliens. So... That was wrong. And so he scattered people all over the world. So that's what happened. Amen? So, um, hmm. That kind of makes me think again. I've always wondered how the Mayans got over here to the New World. Maybe these aliens uh, uh, created genetic people. And that's how they planted these people there. So, uh, God bless you. Uh, call on the name of Jesus and ask Him to save you because He will. Amen? So, God bless you. Have a good one. And may the Lord be with you. Amen? God bless you. Bye.